Now he'll flip it up off the short glass and out the center race for the puck. Greco's going to get to it first. Anthony Greco in, and a save by Halak. How many breakaway chances has Greco had this season? And goaltenders just keep on coming up with the answers on him. Off to twin brother Kellen. Kellen from the left side shooting it. Boxed around for a moment by McKenna. And now turning back toward the front. Marcus and tucking it right in front. And it's swatted away from danger on the near side by Robinson. Period two underway. Bridgeport on the power play for just under another minute. Fox is black and now the Thunderbirds trying to go to the offensive. Chase Ballacy in front for Black, he scores! Out of the box and into the score sheet instantaneously goes Graham Black. A beautiful feed from Ballacy and it's 1-0. Uh, I like parts of our game for sure. Uh, parts I didn't like. Um, we got to quit giving up goals uh, at the end of periods. Uh, it's a bit of a trend and um, special teams again has to get better and uh, I thought you know, second period, I like the way we played in the offensive zone. We were there for long periods of time, and then we take a penalty and ends up in our net. And uh, we we got to be more disciplined and uh, just play five on five. And slapper we're, tip, they we're score. Kearns and Bernier were both in front, and I believe Steve Bernier is the one who got a stick on this one. Is it up the line, but not out. Well, franchise across the Landry through the seam. Dal Cole, Dal Cole, the shot, kick, save, rebound, and McKenna got across to Rob St. Dennis as well. Hebert's able to clear the zone out the center as Landry couldn't keep a bouncing puck in with the glove. Play along to Robinson, no worse for wear, and he was able to make a good play to Rao. Rao inside out on Burroughs. Rao toward the front, fires off the post. What a move by Rao, and he almost finished it. Rao now back out to Weger. Weger with room. Weger the blast, tip just wide in front by Bozon. The Sound Tigers through center left to right. Johnston and Akalazzi come together again, and Akalazzi nearly throws Johnston into the Bridgeport bench. And now Akalazzi is getting There was passion in the game. Johnston. Second Johnston period, I mean, there were hits and uh, energy. As I said, we just can't take those penalties uh, uh, to negate the good stuff we did. And uh, um, but for the most part, uh, happy. I don't like giving up four goals, and I think empty net count, I don't know if it's five, but I don't like giving up four goals. So we, we score three and normally we give up two and under and tonight we give up four. So that can't happen. The offense has got to come, but the defense has got to stay the way it is. Akalazzi, who never, ever has to be coerced to finish his check and rile up his teammates, the other team and the crowd. He's done all three of those things in one fell swoop. Weger from the line returns to Morgan. Morgan neatly to the slot. Morgan to the circle. Morgan back in front. Howerluck scores! Finally, Jace Howerluck has his first, and what a big one it is. It cuts the lead in half less than two minutes after Rowe had made it a three to one game. Yeah, he's Howerluck tenacious. He's hard on the puck. He's hard to play against. He's ultra competitive and uh, uh, plays the right way. So uh, I've been happy with him. I thought that line was really good tonight. Uh, you know, they gave up the the last goal against, but uh, you know, they gotta, they gotta play both ends of the ice and continue to bring the offense. Two to go in regulation. Three to two, Bridgeport, our score off the draw. McKenzie center point, wristing it. Tip, they score! Robinson got a piece in front, I believe! We are deadlocked at three apiece. Two goals in less than a minute and a half. Oh, I think they got the wake up call. Landry down low to Kearns, deflected wide out to Bernier. And McKenna with a shoulder save at the side of the net. Weger and Rowe now come together. Rose turning away from Weger, now trying to center, comes to the front, and they score! It's Bracken Kearns again! Five forty-six to go in the third, and after, I venture to say Bridgeport, Probably got away with a couple of minor penalties. They end up scoring at the end of the play. Kearns a four-point night, a two-goal night to give his team the lead back with 5.46 to play.